Unit 8, Lesson 13, The Median of a Data Set. Number 1. Here is a table that shows students' scores for 10 rounds of a video game. What is the median score? First, I place the order of the scores in the data set from least to greatest. To find the median score, I just needed to find the middle value, and the middle value is 145, so the median score is B, 145. Number 2. When he sorts the class's scores on the last test, the teacher notices that exactly 12 students scored better than Claire and exactly 12 students scored worse than Claire. Does this mean that Claire's score on the test is the median? Explain your reasoning. Remember, the median means the middle score. And if exactly 12 students scored better than Claire and exactly 12 students scored worse than Claire, Yes, Claire's score is the median score because her score is in the exact middle with 12 scores higher and 12 scores lower. Number 3. The medians of the following dot plots are 6, 12, 13, and 15, but not in that order. Match each dot plot with its median. Dot plot number 1. We cancel out all four of the scores to the right of the six and all four of the scores to the left of the six, leaving just the two scores in the middle, so the median of all the test scores for dot plot number one is six. Dot plot number two. We cancel out all four of the scores to the left of 15 and cross out the three scores to the right of 15 and cross out one of the scores of 15 leaving just two scores left, and those two scores are 15. So the median for dot plot number two would be 15. Dot plot number three. I've crossed out all five of the scores to the left of 12, and I've crossed out all five of the scores to the right of 12, leaving 12 in the middle. So 12 would be the median of dot plot number three. Dot plot number four. There are four sets of data to the left of 13, I cross them out, and four sets of data to the right of 13, and I cross them out. The mean for dot plot number 4 is 13. Number 4. Invent a data set with five numbers that has a mean of 10 and a median of 12. There are many examples that you can come up with, and here are two examples. 0, 8, 12, 14, and 16, or 2, 9, 12, 13, and 14. The median's pretty easy to pick out. You can see that 12 is the middle number in each of these sets. The mean is a little bit more difficult. We'd have to add up every single piece of data and then divide it by 5. 8 plus 12 is 20, 14 plus 16 is 30, and 20 plus 30 is 50, and 50 divided by 5 is 10. So it would have a mean of 10. For the second example, 12 plus 9 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 is also 50, and 50 divided by 5 pieces of data is 10. Number 5. 10 6th grade students reported the hours of sleep they got on nights before a school day. Their responses are recorded in the dot plot. Looking at the dot plot, Lynn estimated the mean number of hours of sleep to be 8 and 5 tenths hours. Noah's estimate was 7 and 5 tenths hours. Diego's estimate was 6 and 5 tenths hours. Which estimate do you think is best? Explain how you know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add up all the data. 5 plus 6 plus 21 plus 24 plus 18 and divide that by 10 since there were 10 6th grade students that were reporting their hours of sleep. So that totals 74, and 74 divided by 10 is 7 and 4 tenths. So the mean is actually 7 and 4 tenths. Noah's estimate is closest. 
Number six. In one study of wild bears, researchers measured the weights in pounds of 143 wild bears that ranged in age from newborn to 15 years old. The data were used to make this histogram. A. What can you say about the heaviest bear in this group? This histogram tells me that the heaviest bear in this group weighs between 500 and 550 pounds. B. What is the typical weight for the bears in this group? The typical weight for the bears in this group is going to be to the left of the median because the majority of the bears is to the left of the median. So I'd say that a typical weight for the bears in this group is just about 200 pounds. C. Do more than half of the bears in this group weigh less than 250 pounds? Yes. You can see that the majority of the bears that were weighed weigh less than 250 pounds. D. If weight is related to age, with older bears tending to have greater body weights, would you say that there were more old bears or more young bears in the group? Explain your reasoning. There would be more young bears in the group because more than half the bears are less than the median weight of 250 to 300 pounds. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 8 Lesson 13, the median of a data set. Thank you.